and now we are moving for the next session and the topic for the same is unlocking the power of Martech, leveraging cutting edge tools to drive marketing success and for the same I would request you all to please put your hands together because I will be calling on st stage to session the chair Mr. Nitesh Kumar, Vice President New Media, Pivot Roots, a Haves Company, Avinash Chaudhary, Head of Marketing, Chayos, Dhananji Arora, Founder and CEO, Key Webmaker, Digital Agency, Gandharv Sachdeva, Country Head, India, Hybrid, Gopa Menon, Head of Digital, Mindshare South Asia, Group M, Mayank Prabhakar, Head of Digital Marketing, Vivo India. Can we ha have all of you here? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome them on board. So I request Mr. Nitesh Kumar to please take the lead. Over to you, sir. Mr. Dhananjay Arora, if you can hear me. We'll wait for one or two minutes. Can someone call him, I guess? He's outside, I guess. Can someone go and check? Can somebody from our, our team go and quickly inform Mr. Dhananjay? On time, I guess. As I mentioned earlier, all the good things take time. <laughs> so this is the time <laughs> the good things are taking. We hope so. 100%, sir, 100%. Thought become things. If we'll think that way, the way it will be easier for us. And I'm sure the information all the panel discussion is sharing with all of us is valuable and you all are uh, taking keynotes and nobody is asking question. There were only one guy who asked the question. Okay, a special welcome for Mr. Dhananjay Arora. We all are waiting for you. Please join us. Thank you for the rare individual who put their hands together. Thanks. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, let me just set, uh, now set the context first, uh, what exactly we have been uh, here are for. Uh, see, uh, the landscape of MarTech uh, is ever-changing and you know, uh, it's, it's also continuously evolving as well. Uh, and, and the entire MarTech uh, ecosystem is uh, driven by the innovation uh, and it is also fueled by data, uh, right? And there are solutions which, which, which you know, such as uh, uh, personalization and CDPs and, 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 and you know, generative AIs are kind of a, will continue to grow and the entire brand uh, ecosystem, uh, the, the businesses, they will kind of anticipate high efficiencies and effectiveness in terms of their uh, uh, you know, marketing uh, endeavors and the journey. Uh, so, you know, having said that, uh, the, the, the tools and technologies, uh, actually it, it, it's my personal view, tools and technologies will drive the entire marketing success as of now. So to, to, to discuss that in entire, how do we kind of uh, unlock the entire MarTech, uh, you know, the, the power of MarTech, I have a very esteemed panelist uh, with me. Uh, so, jo, so just to begin that, uh, you know, with a very generic question I would say, uh, uh, which can be very relatable to, to all of us. Uh, what is MarTech? You know, what does uh, that mean to us? Uh, and how do I leverage the entire MarTech eco ecosystem in our uh, business scenario? 
so to I, I think it, this question goes to everyone, uh, starting with uh, Gandhar, and then uh, we all can uh, talk about. Yeah. Sure. So. So when we talk about Marte as of today, is it, is it working? Okay. Thank you. So Martek as a terminology is a very vast word. So we talk about it is what is known as marketing technologies, right? So when it started in the years 90s and it's been growing since then, uh, Scott Brinker as I see has started marketing technology tools and he's been working on to it. We see a growth of 18.5% approximately by the year 2032. But having said that, these marketing tools which are coming are really important to have the customer insights, to know how the tools will help the marketers to improve their marketing strategies and plans. That is what I would think about. I would leave the stage open to others. Am I audible? Yeah, it's clear. So, uh, as a marketeer, uh, you know, MarTech have been there in different shape and form. Some, some form of technology we had been using to be able to target, to be able to measure, to be able to, you know, disseminate the content. Those have become more sophisticated, have become more credible, have become, uh, uh, you know, uh, more linear. Sure. So, for me, uh, it's always been whatever is the solution that's coming in form of technology associated with marketing, it is helping me strengthen that one view of the consumer, a single view of the consumer, which has become really difficult now because obviously now the consumer touch points have become plenty. Uh, content consumptions have become, you know, uh, far more than what they were. So in this situation as a marketer, how do you get that single view of the consumer and that view with that view, how do you create delight at every touch point by understanding that consumer better every day, every week, every month and then therefore ultimately, you know, draw a line to that if I do all of this, if I have this view, if I am creating this delight, I am creating this revenue for the brand and therefore increasing the lifetime value of the consumer for the business. So that's, that's, that's totally uh, having a single view creating delight with that view at every touch point and then translating it into a revenue is is what uh, marketing is, is is and obviously yeah, there are enough. if we start to talk uh, you know uh, acronyms and and tech <laughs> names <laughs> you know <laughs> time won't be enough yeah, no, <laughs> every, no, every enough, week we have a new person coming in and we meet so many people understand oh, okay fine this is next this is next this is next so very difficult for a marketer to stay up to date with but this and still makes sense care what is relevant, what is not relevant. Yeah, yeah, very rightly said. I think everybody has uh, their own way of working and uh, yeah. one, uh, you know, own way of advantages and disadvantages and then we can take it from there, yeah. So again, I think uh, adding to what Gandhar and uh, I said, basically again, I, th I don't want to get, get into jargons and all that. For me, MarTech is very simply put, uh, marketers trying to use those tools to actually optimize their marketing efforts. Whatever that helps, whatever that tools can actually help you to actually optimize your marketing efforts is what I think MarTech is. Uh, there can be varied tools right from your inciting to uh, uh, creative to content creation to CRM. So there are multiple very tools across the funnel where marketing uh, automation or marketing tools, can, MarTech tools can actually enable and that for me is MarTech. Yeah. Sure. I, think, I don't think anything is left. I think uh, Avinash has spoken <laughs> to the maximum detail he can and I think he guys make the as as can but I think uh, agreed with both in terms of uh, anything which is using technology for you and making it more sense for you. That is something a mark tech is stays for us. Given that, if there is something which is linear, which is logic, which gives you bifurcations, and which is suited to your business requirement, sure. and they are able to give you that particular output, that is so called mark tech for you. See, technologies are being there for long, right? How you use the technology, how you bundle those two or three or four technologies so that the output which is being required. So I think if you know the objective and you know which tool to use it and you apply that input and the output is there and it helps you that particular thing, that's MarTech for you. Yeah. Yeah, true. Well, so everyone's pretty much uh, summarized everything. But uh, again, coming, uh, taking from where you said, from a, at a very elementary level, uh, you know, if there are marketers or, uh, 
you know, upcoming marketers who want to understand, obviously MarTech is marketing and how do you marry technology to help your marketing. Now, uh, if you break it up, you can, you know, there are all kinds of marketing tools right from your basic Google Analytics, which is also a marketing tool, uh, to something which is uh, a very, uh, you know, sophisticated CRM like you know, a HubSpot or a Salesforce, they are also, so the essentially, like he said, you need to identify what is your business, what are your goals, what's your customer, based on, you know, whether you're B2B, B2C, what are the areas you want to find them, and right from how you use MarTech for your SEO or your AdWords to getting that data uh, of your various consumers from your search or your website or your website analytics or your social media campaigns, and then get it all together, and then make a, cohesive ecosystem to talk in, a, in as much as a personalized way to them. So essentially it's about getting data of all your consumers, bifurcating them into various segments and trying to reach them uh, based on you know, the maturity of the client because you might have repeat clients, you might have loyal clients, you might have first term clients. It's really that's uh, I think the long and short of what MarTech helps you to do. No, fair enough. I think Martek is something where, uh, uh, which can make our life uh, simpler uh, as of now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, uh, you know, uh, uh, I would like to ask something uh, to Gandhav. Uh, very, uh, how is Semantica transforming the contours of contextual targeting, uh, you know, in the cookie-less uh, world? Okay. Uh, basically, to set the context over here, like uh, we were talking about MarTech right now. So today we are with MarTech and the second stage is AdTech. So in AdTech, we look at a lot of targeting options. We'll see that how the campaigns are running and everything. So where Semantica comes into place is that we look at a lot of contextual targeting. When we talk of contextual targeting, it's a very vast term. I would say it's a keyword targeting. Say, for example, like what I use it as an example is that salsa is a word, it's a sauce. But yes, it's a dance as well. So if I'm doing a normal keyword targeting, I might land up on an article and do some advertising which might be the wrong place. Semantica is one layer up above what we call up as contextual, wherein our tool, when we talk of hybrid as a tool, wherein we have, we go ahead and scan the complete article and the image and we run the campaigns on those particular articles. So that is how Semantica is actually helping the contextual targeting world to go on to the right targeting, to go on to the right person at the right time. So that is where it helps us a lot. So along with Semantica, we have certain tools wherein we use in-image advertising. Yeah, I was about to ask that. Yeah. So as we were discussing, so when in-image advertising comes into place, it is something that today when mm -hmm. We all go to clients and if we come to you as well, Gopa, you would ask us that what innovative do I have with me? So yes, the innovation is that we are not using the standard banners at all. We are basically using the editorial image and we're putting ads on the editorial image in a very innovative manner. And we are targeting the right set of articles and throwing the ads at the right place. So we have our codes implemented with all the big websites. So different categories can be taken into place and everything can be looked upon. And yes, with, when we add a layer of Semantica to that, that is where it comes that yes, I would use the right article at the right time. Say for example, Vivo as a brand comes to me today and they have a special feature which is coming in. So I would, when I use Semantica along with an image, I would use the right articles and throw your ads so that the right message goes at the right time. Fantastic. Uh, another question which uh, you know, I, I wanted to ask uh, to Avinas, uh, you know, I've heard a lot on the use of generative uh, AI uh, in the POS system you did, uh, you know. Uh, can you please elaborate for all of us uh, what exactly you did and how you used the entire MarTech to unlock the entire, uh, I would say, uh, uh, the retention in strategy? Interesting. Okay. So, uh I think let's start with the consumer. Sure. We are in a uh, cafe business and largely consumer come to us for uh, two jobs that they get done at cafe. Sure. Uh, largely, there are many, but uh, one is uh, people use cafes for pro as a proxy workplace. Sure. So people will come, they'll be regular every day for them, 
our cafe is an office. For some, it's a place for meeting. For some, it's 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 place for to pitch your ideas. For some, it's just to write, sit and write. So, a proxy workplace is a large segment of consumer. The second segment of the consumer is people come just to have a, we call it great conversation. Like you know, two friends uh, they come down office, uh, you know, building and then having a chit chat. Generally, families come, they have a chit chat. Two uh, different people come and have a old friends come and have a chit chat. A great conversation is another place. So, uh, and, and then let me give you a very interesting number. So, today, for upwards of 40% of our business comes from retention. So, the consumer that you, who is transacting with you every month gives you more than 40% of your business. So, retention is extremely critical for us because uh, unlike a QSR, uh, which is let's say a KFC or a Popeyes or anybody, uh, for them acquisition matters more because it's a very functional need. Aapne aaya, khaya aur aap gaye. For us, uh, the stickiness is very high because you're giving an, you're selling an ambience in totality, and along with that, you are that the drinks and uh, uh, you know food is a uh, say is a lubricator to the jobs that consumer is doing work or conversation so retention is very critical 40 percent business comes from that now when we when we actually uh, you know st think of how do we realize that revenue and how do we uh, target those uh, those people so there are two parts in which we do that targeting the, the entire mark tech is built in a way that we capture close to 90 percent of our uh, transacting consumer data, which is mobile number yeah. uh, at a cafe. So we know the location also, what is the frequency at it, what are you consuming, how frequently you are consuming, one, two, three people, four people, how that's been, uh, how the consumption is happening, happening, what day part is happening. And we also have, uh, uh, you know, at a uh, uh, friend, Rahul is uh, sitting here, he heads our data analytics and tech. So uh, uh, we've integrated.